Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm it's able. awesome to have you back. Great. Thank you. So let's see. Hello, Heidi, Ada, Erwin. Hey, good evening. Fernando. Hi. Andres, Giovanni. Where was the interview? Uh, I just had another class before yours. <laughs> and it's and it's cold. It's cold, so I but thank you, thank you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was running. There was some traffic. If you're going to Salvador del Mundo, don't go. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, interesting music. So how are you guys? What have you been up to? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What have you been up to, guys? What did you do during this? How long was it? Two weeks? One and a half, I think. One week and a half. Yes. Holy mother, yeah. So fast. Okay. And this is intermediate four. So what are your expectations? Did you download your manual? <sighs> Yes, I did. You did? Okay. Awesome. That's really good. What about the rest? Did you download your manual, guys? Yes, teachers. I did it. Okay. Great. Just retrieving your attendance list. Let me check tonight who is staying tonight. Okay, what are your expectations for this module, guys? Did you check the manual? What have you seen on the manual? We are going to start with the, the topic, uh, the distribution of Shana. Good, sir. Okay. May I, if I remember, uh, this follows to the last, not latest, let, latest topic. The latest, no, you were right, the latest topic. Okay, what do you remember about the last class? <sighs> what do you remember about the last class? We were talking about customers and the loyalty with some products. Okay, the last topic was loyalty with some products. That is true. What else? That's it? Okay. Okay, let me start as usual today with the attendance and then we will do the introduction of the course. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Not here yet. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good Welcome. Evening. Good evening. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. And yes. Present. Oh, hey, welcome. Irene, you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Oh, okay. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Welcome. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. There is the survivor. Carolina Ivette Romero yeah. Avelino. Did you call me? 
No, I don't have your phone number. Sorry. Did you, <laughs> Did you mention my name? Did you mention no, me? Not yet. Not yet. Josué Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Excellent. I didn't hear Carolina. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Great. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Not yet. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Here he is. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher, hello. Hello. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Excellent. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. There you are. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. You're, are, Present. You, are you driving? <laughs> yes. be, care, be careful, please. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Now I said your name. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Okay, Alex is not here. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, guys. So I hope you're doing great. This is intermediate four. No Spanish at all. Okay. 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 Starting by you, teacher. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't worry. <laughs> I won't speak in Spanish today. Okay. Uh, let's see. Here it is. As usual, I know you know me and I know you already, but we have to go through our presentation for this module. And just to prove you that I want to speak Spanish in this course, we're going to do it again in English. Okay. So welcome. This is the English for Work program intermediate module four. I'm going to mute you. Okay. My name is Rafael Antonio Rodriguez Linares. Again, people in Inglés Corporativo call me Rafael Linares. Okay. And well, I've been working here for six years already. Uh, about me, I have uh, I'm a licentiate, almost licentiate in international relations. I have a certification with InSoftWorp uh, to develop teachers. I also have um, some other certifications on technologies to teach online. Um, and I'm a certified teacher of, or a certified facilitator of the English for Work program. And I've been teaching this course for seven years, by the way, already seven years. My experience in call centers, I have 12 years uh, working in call centers. Uh, I was uh, an English Academy uh, director or general manager for uh, over a year. And in general, guys, I'm a technician in business administration, in business administration. So this is me. Um, there are some requirements that you need to follow. The first one is to have your full name when you connect to the conference. Let's check. Okay, Jocelyn, yeah, Sandra, okay, Heidi, yes. Good job, everybody has added its name, its full name, that's very important for InsaForm. Okay, um, in the case of Jocelyn and Alexander, I'll be honest with you guys, you need to add the word oyente after your name. Okay, you need to have your camera on all the time. Don't turn off your camera. This is very important because we're in a virtual class. So if you don't see your classmates, it feels really weird, you know, talking to yourself. Okay. Then your participation in this class is the most important thing. Y lo que acabo de hacer, y perdón que lo diga en español, pero porfa, eh, traten de minimizar el sonido en el ambiente en su clase, okay? Siempre el micrófono apagado. Solo si voy a participar en el micrófono, okay? Let's move on with English. Your attendance. You need to be here a hundred percent of the classes. Yes, it's the eighty percent is the minimum, but yes, try to be here all days, especially because Christmas is coming, and we're finishing this module on December seventeenth. December seventeenth. So we're gonna do a party and. We're gonna dance virtually, okay? Uh, the attendance is not just to be here in the class, 
but also to comply with the whole class. I mean, you need to connect the two hours, 120 minutes. The class starts at eight. We do the attendance three times at eight, at nine and 9.55 PM. And it will be valid if you say present, okay? You need to say present. There's just one exception in this class, just one of your classmates who is driving while taking the class. Okay, the sessions 101 are available. Every one of you have 10 minutes, okay? Uh, at the end of each class, I will tell you your name. So you'll be here for 10 more minutes with me. There are no uh, permissions allowed. I mean, texting me, teacher, I'm not going to be in the class today. That doesn't work for Insaforp. If you are not here, you are not here, okay? Homeworks and evaluations. It is necessary to have the 80% of the homeworks and evaluations to be able to complete the course satisfactory. Okay, homeworks are on your platform. Just right after every class, you can start today if you want. Just complete the platform. If you feel you can do it, go ahead, do it. Um, all homeworks and topics covered must be completed before Friday of Friday night of every week. Uh, the, due to the fact that the Insaforp does um, audits, you know, and we need to send the reports every week to Insaforp. The deadline, the deadline to finish the medium intermediate exam or the midterm exam is Friday, December 3rd. Pay attention to this. The midterm exam must be done by Friday the 3rd on December. And the deadline for the final exam is Friday 17th, Friday, December 17th. So when are we finishing our course? When are we finishing our course? December 17th. You got, it. you got it, guys. Okay. And the manual can be downloaded from your WhatsApp group or from the platform as well. Remember, Zoom has some tools. You have the mute button, the camera, the chat. We have the breakout rooms. And when you are in the breakout rooms, you can raise your hand or ask for help to invocate the teacher. Whenever you are on small groups, okay? So I can show up. Okay. Questions? No? Sure? Are you sure? Okay. Good, guys. Um, thank you for being back on Intermediate 4. This is November. We're very close to December. I know it's not easy. It's not easy, right? But this is your dream. Do you want to speak English? So I invite you again, talk in this class. Don't stay quiet. You have to practice. We only have two hours to practice, okay? So let's begin. Tonight, we have to go through the first topic. As Fernando said, the distribution channel. What is a distribution channel, everybody? What is a distribution channel? Uh huh. What is a distribution channel? When the, the factory teacher, when the factory sell the products to the retail, to the customer. Okay, when the factory sells the product to the customer. First you sell it to the retailer. Yes, retailer. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So which is the distribution channel in Irwin's answer? Everybody? Yes. What is it? Is it the retailer or the customer? Retailer. The retailer, right? So for example, Irwin, Irwin is a distribution channel for the batteries. He doesn't produce them, but he sells them to the to the customer directly, right? He's a distribution channel. Or, in fact, the part of moving the product from the factory to Irwin, that's the distribution as well, right? It is part of the distribution chain. What can you tell about distribution channels? That's a topic right now right? In the whole world, there's a problem with distribution. What's going on 
Suleyma, what's going on with distribution nowadays? Um, um, I think there is a problem because um, they um, doesn't don't have uh, enough people to move all the containers and send to the, the retails. That is correct. Thank you. We have a problem. We're facing a problem with distribution in the whole world. Okay. So tonight we're going to start uh, with your book directly. We're going to go straight to the topic. Let me have Jury starting up with the first part of the book. Can you please read, Jury? Express advantage and disadvantage of direct and indirect distribution channels. Close, very good. Repeat, express. Our mission right now in this class will be to express advantages. Repeat, advantages. Yes. Express advantages. And disadvantages. And disadvantages. Adva just, just advantages. Advant disadvantages. Better. Disadvantages of direct and indirect distribution channels. Okay, let's continue with Mike. As your company sells products and services directly to the consumers, what kinds of business distrib distribute their product to other stores? stores? Excellent, okay. Does your company sell products and services directly Mike, directly? Directly. To the consumers? To the consumers? What kind of business distribute? distribute? What kinds of business distribute? Today? Their product to their to other stores. Okay, so again, distribution channel, the transportation, that sounds like transportation, right? So who transports, distributes, translates, I mean, moves the products from the factory to other stores or to the final consumer? Who does it? Okay. Let me select one of you. Let's see. Okay, someone who produces products here, or let me do it better. Mike, Miguel, you work in, in insurance, right? Yes. Do you have a product? No. Are you sure? Yes, because, because you, you cannot see the product in a specific you contract a service or you you see your product when you have an accident for example or when, when uh -huh. you have a, a, a sick when you be sick but when in you... the moment when you contract no okay when you hire our services hire. you don't when you hire the services of the insurance, you don't see the product, right? But yeah. the product itself is the service that the insurance company provides to their customers. So you do see the product, it becomes a tangible product when you have an accident. Yeah, uh -huh. for example, in, in bike, but if a um, um, medic, when you- <laughs> if, it is a, if it is a medical insurance? Medical insurance, yeah. Depends mm -hmm. what kind of insurance you you hire. You hire excellent. Okay, so for example, in an insurance, and there is, for example, uh, the products can be what kind of uh, coverage you are going to have. For example, if you are going to have a semi full full uh, executive for for the insurance companies. Those are the products uh, you have in that kind of insurance companies. Or if, for example, you are going to have a, a life, 
alive, uh, that kind, the police are of life. Um, um, I, what do you say when you are retire retirement? Okay, retirement or, policy. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, retirement. The scholastic too. The school scholastic. for a school for a school when you once that you're you're you're, you're done children, with your studies uh-huh when you want that you your daughters your your children's children children uh -huh. say they they you once that they have a opportunity to study when i an insurance oh so that's like saving money to go to the university during? That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, educational, educational, educational right. insurance, but educational. I remember what it did. Uh -huh. yeah, that's right. Wow. In, in, my, in my work, teacher, all uh -huh. employees have this coverage. Really? Yeah. Man, that sounds very interesting. Okay. So, who distributes your product to other stores? In this sense, in an insurance, how will you distribute? the service where is the distribution channel of your service it's a tricky question but it, it can be understood as something else can somebody think about the answer to this question in this How, case insurance intermediaries i don't know intermediaries Actually, hey guys do you have outsourced do you have outsourced uh, sellers like for example can I can I sell your insurance teacher the company that I work the account that it's Expedia uh, we sell flights to Avianca uh, Interjet Volaris uh, all the airlines around the world mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know is maybe they sell the product to us but in this case when we book a flight we tell to the customer this is flight uh, with Sabianca Airlines and we provide the restrictions, the policies according to the airline that is Avianca. So I guess that Avianca sells to Expedia. Maybe we are the third party, I guess. You're some sort of distribution channel, yes, true. Do you think the point of sale becomes a distribution channel of services? That's my yes. point. What do you think, Heidi? Can you repeat the question, please? <laughs> do you think that the sales process becomes a, some sort of distribution channel on regarding services, right? You don't have a physical product, but you have an untangible product. And how did you distribute it? We distribute it online and we're present in any of the business, the majority of them through post too. Mm -hmm. You see, so the point of sale in the end becomes a distribution channel. The publicity, the marketing part and in insurance, for example, I met, I have met so many people selling insurances, you know, <laughs> and they you, you, you become friends, right? With this, this person and they go like, hey, do you have insurance? Do you have car insurance? Do you have life insurance? Would you like to have car insurance? So they go like, okay, tell me more about it. Okay, so that's a distribution from my perspective. You know, when you don't have a physical product, okay, you can sell your services in that way. You distribute the service. Okay, that's my point of view. So let's go in small groups for the first time and answer these two questions. Does your company sell products and services directly to the customers, to the consumers? What kind of business distribute their your product, you know, your company's product to other stores? Do you do it through third party, you know, outsourcing? Do you understand outsource? Yeah. Yeah, when you hire someone who is doesn't belong to your company, right? As simple as that. Let's go in small groups for a few minutes and discuss these two first questions. They're gonna be on your WhatsApp in a minute. And remember, you're here to speak through your elbows. <laughs> okay, let's go. Talk, 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 talk.
are you? Recording stop. <laughs> that's mine. That's my line. Say that's my line. Yes. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, guys. Hello, Caroline. Hello. <laughs> Long time to see ya. Oh, okay. <laughs> miss me? Yeah, claro. <laughs> sure. Sure. Is it going? Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, come on. You have two questions. Start talking. Okay. okay. In my case, uh, we don't sell products. Maybe yes. we give uh, services. Hmm. But it's, it's not a, a sell. But what about the birth certificate, Andres? Yes, the people has to pay it's a tasa, no sé cómo es en inglés. Uh, a municipal tasa, tax. A tax. They have to uh, pay a tax. Yes. That. Remember yes. the taxes uh, are it like, doesn't yeah. cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it that, uh, that amount don't, don't cover maybe the, all the expenses. Oh, yeah, all the expenses. You're good. Uh, all, expenses, uh -huh. all the expenses that has to do the, the city hall because it's, it's very cheap in, in this town it's very cheap on the, the taxes so it is a symbolic mm -hmm. amount of money yes only one dollar and 20 cents what really day. yes it's just 120 wow here in san salvador mm -hmm. is like three dollars i think or five three and uh, fifty cents mm -hmm. three fifty so how do you distribute that service is directly to the, the, the person that requires the service. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? I mean, do you send someone? No, the, uh, you have to go to the, the To the town hall. Town hall, yes. So nowadays there are companies that give the service. Oh, really? Yes. Um, it's a national service. If you want a, a document from La Union, you can ask for that service. Oh. Mm -hmm. There so are many companies. So you that. have, do you have branches? No, there's a private companies that. Did you outsource? You outsource companies, really? Yes. I um, didn't know that. I heard that mm -hmm. you have delivery service for the birth certificate. Yes, uh -huh. but the national post, national USPS, uh, USPS in the USA, mm. the mm -hmm. Your regular mm -hmm. mail, mail. They, they give that uh, national mail, the, they have that service too. Is it free? No, <clears throat> you have to pay like $6 plus the taxes from the hometown. hometown. Okay, so mm -hmm. in this case, guys, what is the distribution channel in the example that Andres is saying? <clears throat> Carolina, uh, you're no. just in, Miguel. No, I'm not sleepy. I'm not sure because he works in a place that when they works in, as he mentioned, they didn't sell any product. But wait, uh, no, I know. But listen, they provide a service where there's a tangible paper, the birth certificate, the birth certificate. They, they can send it to you by mail. So the mailing service, the mail service is the distribution channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, that's what we're talking about. Okay, think about it in your job. 
Caroline. Well, uh, in the company that I work, uh, we are the channel of distribution. distribution. Of distribution, <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah, because it's a company about transportation. Transportation. Um, transportation. So we we don't sell in a specific product, but but the companies, our clients, mm, look looking for uh, look for for us. Thank you for us for um, our services. Yes, uh, okay. for example, some of them, they, they sell chemicals, chemicals, loyal, um, dangerous materials. Um, so they ask for our service and the complicated, the complicated, uh, the complication is uh we um how do you say how to transport each material but but it's necessary to have the specific permissions permissions and account uh human resource mm -hmm. um because some some of them they uh, how do you say están ocupados? They're busy. Uh, with other clients, so um, we we take care about logistics. You take care of logistics. Of logistics. We take care of logistics. I got you. Okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. Think. Think. Okay. That's something you do sell. You do sell a product and that's a ticket that's a service so do you think you are as a call center do you become a distribution channel or what go ahead mm -hmm. we are a distribution channel i am not in the sales department mm -hmm. and you have you are living this kind of, of, of troubles in your in your work in your daily activity no not really because uh, we have a contract with the government and they pay the the same if we scan hundred containers per day or one container per day it's not a problem for our company maybe the the companies that produce is the most uh, uh, is the most uh, or distributed the product the other store in, in my company is uh, the similar because my company distributed uh, the other uh, stores Distribute to other stores. Distribute to other stores. Hmm? Yes, in other countries. Okay. That's it? Just teach Okay, let's go back then if you're done discussing these questions.
Teacher, you are mute. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I think we have a gross idea of what is a distribution channel, but um, what is it? What is a distribution channel? What distribution channels do you know? We talked about this before, come on. Transportation. <coughs> Transportation. Yes, Fernando, very good. Who, who talked? I'm sorry. Great job. Yes, transportation. <laughs> that's right. What else? What? Retail. Retailer stores. Okay, retail stores. Yeah, wholesale too. Uh, distribute, Wait, distribute wholesale agents. Distribution agents. Distribution uh, agents. Give me, give me examples. I'm sorry. Uh, what, what is a wholesale store? Jury, what do you understand by a wholesale store? For Isn't example, it... for example, when a, a dog sale shoes to Simon, for example, hmm. they create a, they they sell the shoes with a, a kind of discount, hmm. and they they are they give a, they gave a, they give a a better, a good discount. A and better deal. They offer a better deal. Yes. Yeah. It's um, at least twenty-five percent of discount. Mm -hmm. Many times, many time the the who sell get sell more than the the factory, and sometimes. Because they give, uh, they give, they give more discount. They give this better discount to the client. Hmm. 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 I don't know. I don't know, Rick. Hmm. Yes, it's true. For example, if you want to buy more than twenty-five shoes, they are going to give you a discount. They are. They are going to consider you like a, the volume. Mm -hmm. I got your point. Wholesale means mayorista, right? Mm -hmm. I got right. your point. Yeah, we got it, right? Hmm, true. Okay, so we have wholesale stores, we have retailers. Okay, for Fernando said something. I'm sorry, I forgot. You, you said retailer, Fernando? No? Uh, uh, distributors. Distributors. Uh, no, distributors. but you said agents. A distri distributor agents, uh, agents. for example. Uh, uh, for example, I don't know if this uh, is either a good example, but uh, a month ago, I I hired uh, uh, an insurance for my new car, and I I I get I got one from a company that uh, the the insurance agent doesn't belong. But he is uh, an agent with that he sells is insurance from many uh, insurance companies, but mm. he, he he doesn't belong to anyone. He doesn't belong to, to any any of these insurance companies. Okay, that's what I was telling you. He's an agent. He's just yes. an insurance agent. Okay. That's what I was telling you, right? He's a, the own distribution channel itself, you know, um, and he represents many brands. Very good. Okay. What could be an example of a retailer? I'm gonna go like the black guy. Thanks. <laughs> The Samsung store and the iPhone store. Um, yeah, and many others, right? And so on. So we got an idea. What about the delivery service that we offer on entrepreneurs? Have you noticed how they offer delivery service and it's already added? 
or most part of the times they go like, oh, plus the delivery is like three or five dollars more for your product. How do you feel when they go like, you know, the delivery is five dollars? How do you feel? Expensive. On this Too expensive? I mean, the product was ten dollars. Yes, it, it depends on the price, maybe. Yeah, you can get it for $15. In the value of the product. Yeah, that, that's crazy, right? So the distribution channel, question. Does the price of your product increase depending on the distribution channel that you use? Yes, it does, depending yes. on the customer. Transportation. The cost of transportation, are. okay. Okay, so who knows here? Well, let's think about this logically. Why there's a difference between transporting by sea, transporting by land, you know, land transportation, sea transportation, marine transportation, air transportation. What makes are, the difference in price? Uh -huh. There are many factors because maybe for by airplane uh, is is fastest than uh, it's faster 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 uh -huh. faster than but by it's ship more expensive. for example but it's more uh, expensive. maybe it's more safe more safety wait wait is it more expensive by air than by ship yes it is yes yes it is okay. are I you sure one yes i remember a story about that the the uh, the, the the factory sent a product from El Salvador to Costa Rica to the air, and they pay a lot of money for through the air, through air. Uh -huh. They use air. Wow. Well, that I heard, really I heard that we were importing. Do we import money? We import money, right, Katie? Yes, we do. We you we import treasury. Yeah, and I heard that when they send the money, they didn't want too many coins, right? It's better to have the bills, you know, the bills, the paper bill, than the coins because of the weight, the weight of the coins. Man, that was a huge story. Did you didn't hear about it like two years ago or a year ago? We were getting. What, I, what I heard is that they gave us the coin in 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 the do, instead of dollar bills, because um, how do you say deteriorate? It expires, it deteriorate, deteriorate. Ah, my God, that word. <laughs> Wait, deter, deteriorate, deteriorates. Here in El Salvador, we deteriorate uh, the dollar bill too much. So they decided to give us coins. Yep. My God. There's, you know, there's uh, actually, there's, uh, how do you say, escasez, teacher? It spoils. Let's say it spoils. Easier. Spoils. S P O I O. Coins. Uh -huh. of, of coins because they don't have materials to produce them. They don't have materials to produce mm -hmm. them. That's true. Bills. How do you say what you said? The second word. Escasez. Uh, there is. Um, they're they're run out of. We are running oh, out of. Mm -hmm. We saw that word in the previous model. Remember the conference that I sent you? Sure. Scarcity. It was on the video, scarcity. Yeah, the scarcity. We are in a scarcity of, of these uh, materials. So we don't produce money. That's interesting. We don't print our money. Okay, so going back to the business, um, the transportation tells about the price. Okay. By airplane is the most expensive. Mm. What about what about volume? That's my point. I mean, does maybe volume teacher, maybe the depends the product? Why? Uh, for example, when the product is big or heavy, how to say less pesado? Heavy. The way. Heavy. Yes. Yes. It's heavy, it's the most expensive because the airplane have a limit. The a limit of weight. Yes, maybe a Are... weight limit. Hey, but isn't it the same if you transport one kilo of cotton to one kilo of iron? 
is the same weight. <laughs> okay. The volume. The volume. Maybe. Uh, the, the, the volume. volume oh, the, the container have uh, the space. The container mm -hmm. for the airplane have mm -hmm. a specific um, measure. Measures, yes. Okay. But I have yeah. a doubt. If you transport by by chip, is it takes more time, and you need more more. How does combustible fuel? Food? More fuel. 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 Uh huh. Mm, uh -huh. I don't know. This is this is a crazy idea, but no. The but distance. You, just, uh huh. Uh -huh. Transport uh -huh. much much volume. Okay, Andres. You're Anything. going to carry more container in a in a ship, ship? than yes. Yeah. Then um, by airplane. That's why. That, that's why you are going to pay less. That, that's a very interesting point of view. Um, yeah, ships are using fuel, right? I think. <laughs> we go like <laughs> doubting. Do they still use coal? You know, coal or carbon? No, but mm. they have motors. They have yes. engi engines. <laughs> engines. They have yes. engines now. Engines, uh, now, the distance by sea, is it the same than by air? It's crazy, right? Hey, but we're having problems with uh, um, marine transportation, right? There is where we're having problems. And uh, ground, ground transportation. These two are like the critical problems right now, especially if you're importing from China and from the States. There are no truck drivers. There are no truck drivers. Did you hear? We're we're losing we're losing workforce trained for transportation of trucks, and why is that? Is because this generation, the crystal generation, they don't think about you know getting their hands dirty. They want to do everything on the computer. No more yeah. hand works. It's crazy. Okay, now that you're thinking about it, and we're thinking about the cost, so. What is involved on transporting merchandise other than fuel? What else? Okay, uh, think about a map. Think about a map of the world. 100 years ago, I will say, I don't know. 100 years ago, there were no, not as many international agreements as there are today, right? So you had to pay tolls. You know what are tolls? You what is like a tax? tax? A tax, right? Nowadays, you have to pay tolls everywhere. You remember during the war, the war times in El Salvador? During war, you used to go through tolls, military tolls, right? A toll is what you paid when you cross that line. So if your shipment is coming grounded, you know, by ground transportation, there's a cost on every single stop in the route, there's a toll. But international agreements between countries most of the tolls are voided. Most of the tolls are voided. Yep. So we are not charged. For example, in Central America, if you're transporting some kinds of merchandise, like food, for example, some food don't pay tolls. You know, you just go through the line. They already know. It's like being tax exempt. Have you heard of this? This term? Como maximir impuestos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Heidi? Exempto. Mm -hmm. And in your company, I'm are sure. you, 
Are you talking about trade agreements? Trade agreements, thank you. We have international trade agreements among countries, right? Okay. And that's, that's the biggest benefit of becoming part of an association like SICA, for example, Sistema de Integración Centroamericano. Have you heard about the Mercado Común Centroamericano? No, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. 1969, El Salvador versus Honduras. For one hour, El Salvador played with versus Honduras. Football, soccer. And they started fighting. The MCCA, the MCCA, the Mercado Común Centroamericano, was about to become a reality. It was this close to become a reality. But due to that fight, we started a war. What is the war? La guerra de las 100 horas. Yes. No. The, the 100 no. hours no. war. Yep. Andres? Uh, uh, a bomb, bomb, fault in this, this town. Oh, the, the place where you are, your, your yes. town. Yes, the bomb was directly to the city hall, but como sería, explotó, explotó. It exploded. Exploded like uh, maybe 50 meters. 50, uh, 50 meters away from town hall. No, 50 meters, metros. Yeah, 50 meters. Meters. Uh, meters. Away uh, from the town hall. The, yes. So, and mm -hmm. just that war, that 100 hours war, closed the deal. Honduras and El Salvador said, no, thank you. We don't want to become friends with you. No more Mercado Común Centroamericano. And ever since we have been struggling, struggling with this SICA. Every government is go it goes like, yeah, we're going to do the SICA. We're going to do the SICA. It never happens. There are some agreements still, but it's not like a TLC, you know, and that's something else. On um, this kind of uh, trades between the United States and El Salvador, for example, at the beginning, we were just just to give you an example, we were paying ten percent on taxes, okay, but the agreement says that after ten years, I think I can't remember ten years or or thirty years the taxes will be increased, the ones that we paid, and the United States was going to pay less taxes to import their products to El Salvador. So did you know that? <laughs> so now we're paying more to export our products and they are paying less to import their products. Is that fair? No, <laughs> oh, it's not fair. It wasn't a good deal, but it is what it is. Okay, so I want you to think and discuss as a group, what is the most expensive thing to import to El Salvador? Just think about it, get a general idea. What is the most expensive product that we import as a country? Do a little research. Do a little research and you will have just two minutes as a class, you know, to come back to the class and talk about your findings. You got it? You got it? Yeah. 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 Okay. So as a group, do a research. What is the most expensive product that we import? And give an idea to the class. Okay. Let's go. Think about transportation, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, everyone. Recording mm -hmm. stop. <laughs> Come on, guys. Okay. Oh, no, the teacher is a governor. <laughs> yeah. 
teacher is like a Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we have uh, we have to do our research about the products of El Salvador. Or I don't know if any of you have an idea what is the most expensive product of El Salvador. Ma manufacturing here yeah. in your country. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I think it's the raw materials that we can um, I don't know, maybe here. maybe coffee. It's import or export? Export. Is it import? imported or exported? Uh -huh. I think it's imported. Mm. What is the most expensive product that we import? Uh -huh. But yeah, go ahead and find out what is the most expensive product that we export. That's another idea. Who do we sell it to? What about Starbucks? Mm. Think about it. Mm. The product uh, most the most important. Most feature we have. Yeah, about... yeah, English, English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. What is the most um, expensive product we import? That's the question. What is the most expensive product that we import to El Salvador? For taxes, um, I remember for my my job is uh, coffee corns are products that our government um, take care to the uh, national agriculture because have uh, high taxes. But I don't know if it is the same. I don't know if it is the same. Yeah. In medicine too. The government for medicine. Okay, you tell me, I don't know. I don't know if you are talking about the price or for taxes. Everything is involved, but remember we're talking about distribution channels. So where is it coming from it has to do a lot with the price, right? Yeah. Okay, keep it up. I'm seeing in Google, and the first product is diesel in this page, but I don't know. Diesel is the mo more expensive, and the second is gasoline, and the third is petroleum. But I don't know. <laughs> Petroleum? Really? Yes. Yes. And number four is medicine. And number five is a uh, phone, cell phone. Cell phone. Oh, yeah, in this place. But I don't know. And then is clothes. 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 Yeah. Clothes. Yeah. But is uh, El Salvador.com. <laughs> yeah. But the distribution channel of diesel and gasoline is gas station. <laughs> the most common in this country. Mm, wait, distribution channel. Mm. I would oh, say yeah. that the, the gas station is like the retailer, but who, yeah. who brings the the transportation. The, uh -huh, the transportation, right? The sure. distance. Think about the distance that they need to yeah. cover. In this case, truck. I don't know what. What do you think, guys? For example, the gasoline, what is the transportation? of the distribution channel. Mm. The 
truck. <laughs> Okay, prepare with one item for the class. Come on. Really? Uh, Guatemala. Yes, but I don't know nowadays if it's true. Which product? Machinery for medical surgeries, it can be. Machinery, machinery for medical surgeries, okay. Industrial machinery. For example, how do we say, um, Grua. 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 The grua. Mm -hmm. The toe. 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 In my company in in Paul through Grua from China. With free toes from China or cranes, but cranes, big, big, big ones. The ones for yes. the buildings? Yes. Yeah. Man, it's got to be very expensive to import yes. one of these to the country. Yeah. The, the taxes is very expensive. Taxes are very expensive. Yes. But they are. Okay, select one product that is expensive to import. One product. Okay. Mm. Technology, technology, and for machinery, for different, different procedures, procedures, medical procedures, procedures, medical procedures. I think. Or machine part. Machine parts. The car, the bus, the petro petroleum, gasoline, gasoline. Yeah, I heard fuel, fuel gasoline is very expensive to import. But why? Where is it coming from? Where do we import fuel from? <laughs> Venezuela? Venezuela. Really? Yes. All about petroleum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's go back. Let's see who's got the best idea. Es más que una amiga, es más que una ilusión, es mi 
que he tenido yo. Cuando estás conmigo, no existe el tiempo, no, no, que nos rodea. Who grew up? Who grew up with this music? You know, I had a great time. I had a great time on Saturday. I went to a um, picnic steakhouse. Have you heard that in the Boqueron? Yes, and, yes. And just go to, uh, well, I know I don't want you to see that picture. Go to, go to uh, Instagram and look for Prueba de Sonido. You're gonna see me, you're gonna see me like this. <laughs> yeah, I was okay. uh, I was at a picnic um, with my wife because we, we made it to our 13th anniversary. Our 13th anniversary, that was crazy, long time. And um, we went there, right? We heard that Prueba de Sonido was going to be there and Alex Oviedo heard he heard that we we were there celebrating our anniversary, but man, he he didn't stop saying congratulations, Rafa, congratulations, Bea. oh my God, congratulations. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> and he sang, and you know, we took some pictures with him. He's he's a nice guy, Alex Oviedo. He's very nice. And he's very old. We're, we are all old, man. I try to I try to take a selfie with my wife. I didn't like it. I mean, every picture I was like, oh my God, I look so old. I look so, so, uh, I don't know, tired, you know, but it's reality, reality hitting 40 years old to next month on, I'm sorry, on January, in January, I'm becoming 40 already. So there, there's my belly. There's a picture of me, you know, <laughs> it's funny. But it was amazing. I mean, he was singing. We were all singing music from Timbiriche, from um, Brother Sonido. I mean, that was good. It was a nice. Oh, but it's very cold. It's very cold. And the food was good. The food was good. If you want to go with your children, it's a good option. Heidi, have you been to Picnic Steakhouse? No, I haven't. I recommend it to you. If you have kids, go there. Go there. Can teacher. Uh, in rainy, when, when it is raining, don't go. <laughs> if it is raining, yeah. No, it was really cold. It was very cold, but it wasn't raining. It was just windy. Okay, guys, before we move on and you tell me what's the most expensive product we import, let me do the attendance again. Let me see. Judy Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Oh, Present teacher. Thank you. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present teacher. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Thank you. Jose Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Oh, there he is. Okay. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Hey, we have full house. We're just missing Rene tonight. Okay, so go ahead. Be my guests. Uh, my first group is Alexander de Jesus, Fernando Ernesto, Luis, and Jocelyn. Uh, 
uh, maybe we were talking about the, the technology products. That is the... We was? We were. We were, sorry. We were. We were talking about the, the technology products that that is the, the most expensive product that uh, the, the country imports. Hmm. For example, Jocelyn? Uh, okay, we were talking about a computer, for example, some brands that are Apple. A, also, we talk about cell phone, a iPhone. Hmm. Now, in terms of uh, distribution, I mean, are those products expensive because of their country of origin or is just the product itself, you know, that is an expensive brand or product? Um, the brand, as you know, um, talking about Apple, everybody knows that it is expensive. Yeah, everybody knows it is expensive. True. Okay, so it, the distribution is not... So expensive. Where where do you think or found out that we import Apple computers from? Where do they come from? I from guess USA. Is from, expensive. USA. from California, you say? Who produces Apple's computers? That's from a good Apple? question. No, I mean, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah. Which country? I mean, the USA, just the USA? China. China. Uh, they, China. I, they have uh, factories in China. Mm. But I don't, I don't, I don't know if they only uh, got the, the product, get the product from, from the factories of China and in USA, they ens assemble it. They assemble, they assemble, assemble all, all, all the, the components. There, that has a name. Uh, Bill? Bill? No, no, no. The, there is a type of smart, smart distribution channel um, that Chinese use. They use, um, oh my God, I forgot the name here. We they have providers? No, no, no. Listen, computers televisions you know how they have different components and they come from different countries right you buy the plastic the case in yes, one country you buy providers uh -huh, for example the, providers. So, the iphone the, the, the screen of the iphone mm -hmm. was uh, are made from samsung for samsung mm -hmm. samsung uh, be, uh, builds build or made the the makes the, the screen for the iPhones. Interesting. Now, what, what I'm trying to tell you is that there is a, um, a technique. This is a technique, a Chinese te technique, and I can't remember the name, but listen, they buy, they produce, they produce the motherboard. They ship all the motherboards. And along the way, along the way to the United States, they buy the case, let's say in Mongolia, I don't know, okay? They buy the keyboard in Germany because it's less expensive and so on. Through the route, they buy every component and in the ship, they go assembling all the components. By the time they reach the United States, man, that's the, le the least expensive computer and they sell it for a huge price. Now, try to do some research on that. I remember I started that on international internationales. It was part of a mechanism that they used to reduce cost. Because if you import parts from different countries to your country, man, that's very expensive. And it's the same story with Alienware. Alienware, some sort of computers. Costa Rica started producing them. A group of guys, you know, like five or 10 guys, you used to call them and, hey, can you build a computer with the theme of Star Wars for me, for example? So the case of the computer was uh, a soldier or Darth Vader, you know, the case was of Darth Vader. Man, but the graphics card, the motherboard, everything was original from Dell. They used to assemble everything, 
put it to work, program it, and send it to you. Very expensive, but you had a computer for the rest of your life. That was amazing. Okay, so technology, the group of Fernando and Jocelyn say. Next group, let's see. Irwin, Johnny, Josue, Alberto, Miguel Angel, and William. Okay, teacher. <laughs> well, uh, in the group, uh, we are talking about uh, gasoline and diesel mm -hmm. because, what well, in my case, I, I was saying in Google that that what saber invests the most is in diesel and gasoline, and I think it is correct because uh, today <laughs> there are more cars than people and and people the world. yeah and it's consumed the most is that and i don't know after gasoline gasoline and diesel i think there are cell phones, cell phones yeah technology again technology, technology yeah because okay. it it's also something that the, it's correct because today uh, uh, the people buy many cell phones and com or computer in, in this country is very common. For example, for the pandemic, uh, the class you need a, a, a new cell phone, a, a good computer for right. get your your class. For example, to get your virtual classes, I got you. Yeah. So you think that during the pandemic, that's another topic as well. Yes. The pandemic, the cells, the cells for technology increased. Okay, due to these changes on, on technology. Technology technology was introduced to classes or yeah, mainly classes. Well, even to go to church, to go to church, you need a cell phone now, right? Yeah. Vir virtual service. Okay. Someone else from the group wants to say something else? No. no. Okay. No. Okay. Let me go with Caroline then. Caroline, Irene, Jose Antonio, Roberto, and Sandra. Uh, in the group, we were also talking about about gasoline. Petroleum. Um, uh, even are talking are this top these topics. Uh, uh, it's discussion in all countries. Um, even we talking about an specific gasoline, but then weapons technology machines from different areas. So uh, it happens that we as a Salvador, as a country, import very expensive things, but uh, export things with less men, less value. Value. Compared, value. value compared to what we export. Compared to what we import, what we export has less value. Totally. Totally. What is that? Well, yeah, we will say that. So fuel. Hey, did you know that in El Puerto de la Libertad, there's a still a line, a tube, a tube that goes um, from, Puerte, from Puente Chilama, from the El Puente Chilama, it goes all the way to the beach shore. And then it goes inside the sea. Because before, long time ago, the ship with fuel used to go there and just connect, connect the plumbery and deliver the fuel through that pipe. So there's a pipe near Puente Chilama, underground. There goes a pipe all the way to the sea. 
That's the way they used to bring fuel before. Did you know that? No, okay, thank you. Great, so fuel, <laughs> gasoline, technology again. Okay, we don't export expensive things. Of course, we don't manufacture, we don't produce things. And something that calls my attention, what you said before, we import from China, or actually computers are built in China, they are sent to the United States and they send them to us. Interesting. And we do the same. There are many factories in El Salvador producing Umbro, for example, producing uh, surgery, surgery uh, clothes, right? And they don't sell it in El Salvador. They just send it back to the United States or to Europe to be sold in Europe or the United States. That's crazy. Okay. And the last group, Andres, Ada, Heidi, Yuri, and Wendy. Okay, in our group, we found out that uh, the highest tariff uh, are products agriculture, hunting, and fishing with 30, 36% of tariff. And the next one, uh, vehicles with 35%. The tie, the die, the DAI, the tax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of die? I forgot. Arancel. Mm -hmm. or, or what does it mean? Yeah, Derecho al salario de importación. Excellent. Derecho arancelario de importación. I mean, importing one product involves a lot of taxes right importing cars if you bring a car uh you know let's say a good car and it is from before 2013 let's say you go buy a book they have a black book at la importadora right and they just charge your die based on that book it's not a percentage it's just a base tax you know <sighs> there's a lot of expenses to go through. So, thank you. So, wow, we have a lot of products that are very expensive to import. Did, did you find out any product that we export that is very common and expensive? No, we didn't. We didn't talk about exportation. I have a question for you. What do we uh, produce? What do we produce as a country? If we export product, we don't pay it. Uh, taxes for the sport you uh, pay in the country that you sell the product, not here in El Salvador. So again, you pay importing, importing taxes? Yeah, you just pay import taxes, no for sport tax. Interesting, yeah. Very good. And and we that... do export products, we do, but not as much as we import. But but yes, we what, do what do we export? Towels, coffee, sugar, towels from Ila Sal, Taiwan, exactly. Sugar from uh, what's the name? I forgot. Um, de la cabaña, de la cabaña okay. La azucarera, right? We have um, TLC with Taiwan, and we uh, we don't uh, we can export uh, sugar, but if you don't use a uh, is association salvadoreña de exportación only that uh, group can export a sugar to taiwan, taiwan. oh yeah. my god interesting okay we will talk about economical social powers you know in our country later <laughs> that's crazy okay guys moving on with your topics on your book we continue on page nine, there's a conversation. And again, I'll read it for you so you can practice as a group. Remember that pronunciation at this point is the most important thing. You are getting close to advanced. So you need to pronounce in a better way. Okay, just listen, try to catch it. Let me know if there's any new word for you. I don't think so, but let's see. Ellie says, 
I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. A consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give it a try. And if it is, and if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores, from our catalog at stores. Okay, let me have, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's go with Heidi and Suleyma. Heidi and Suleyma, okay? Ellie and Joel, ready? Ready. Okay, okay go. <laughs> I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with our consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumers through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with the retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Good, very good. So remember, you say entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. Teacher, but it says entrepreneur, entrepreneurs, are, I know. Sounds weird. Entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, 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 entrepreneurs. The stress is on the first and this second syllable directly. The stress is on direct, directly, directly to the consumer through our online store. Okay, let's give it a, let's give it a, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Try to repeat that. Let's give it a try. Okay. Now let's practice together as a group. Please repeat as many times as possible as your mission right now to improve your pronunciation. Hey, tonight I'm staying with Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura for 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Yuri, are you there? Okay, teacher. <laughs> Excellent, okay. Okay, let's go in small groups, guys, and don't forget, repeat, repeat, repeat. You can share your screen if you want. Caroline, Mike, let's go. Roberto. Yes. <clears throat> but the other pros, the pronunciation is the other pros. Is this correct, guys? Other pros. Inter interp interpreter. 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 Interpreters. There you go. Interpreter. Yeah, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Yeah. Emprendimiento. Entrepreneurship. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Entrepreneur. Can you send a conversation, please? Oh, yes. Right now. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate it. Yep, right now. Just a second. Smells like if it's raining. No. Here you go. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know if uh, Jocelyn and Erwin. Yes. Uh, can uh, you start with the with sure. the conversation? How do we do it? Okay. May you share the conversation, please? Okay, it will be John. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, I am John. Ellie, who is Ellie? I will be Ellie, but just give me one moment, please. Sorry, I I, I want to share the conversation. Okay, do you have the the the, the dialogue here, Wing? Yes, I would. Oh, okay. uh, I don't know. I can start if you want. It would be the joy. The is simple. Okay. I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, you will need to check with the consult. I don't have any experience with the distribution option. We sell everything directly to the consumer through on online store, our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from a catalog at the store. Catalog at the stores. Okay. Uh, we can switch. Okay. <clears throat> No, you are Ellie and I am Joel. I am Ellie. Mm, you are Ellie. Okay. Are you thinking about this? Let me moment because I don't have to uh, clean my, my glasses. So. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I am thinking about the selling physical copies of our Audi training program for entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Really? We will we need to check with a consul. I don't have any experience with distribution auction. We selling everything directly to consumer through an online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a Retailer store. Let's give me a try. And I feel as successfully we can sell more from our uh, catalog at the stores. Okay. Okay, I will be early. Yep. I, I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? We will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the customer through our online store. Me neither. Maybe we could ask around at and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's give a try. And if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at the store. Okay. I think about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consult. I don't have any experience with distribution options. We sell everything directly to the consumer through our online store. Me, me, me dinner. Maybe we call us around as they see how much profit we call get from our partners. Mm. 
Hey, that video that I just shared is really interesting. Which one? The one that I just shared about the B Corps for people, planet, and profit. They're talking about uh, distribution channels, how things have changed. I'm going to check it. Repitamos la ronda, ¿estás? Come on. Hello. Repeat, repeat. I start again. Okay, go ahead. I'm thinking about setting physical copies of our audio training program from entrepreneurs. Really? Well, we will need to check with a consultant. I don't have any experience with the distribution options. We sell everything directly, directly to the consumers through our online store. Uh, me neither. Maybe we could ask around and see how much profit we could get from a partnership with a retailer store. Let's give it a try. Um, if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog of store at stores. Next, guys. Okay, let me see. Bitcoin is down. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking. Down. Yes, it's down. <laughs> I am trying to. Uh, I I am I am I'm, I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audience audio training program for in, entrepreneur entrepreneurs. Jose, did you play? <laughs> Teacher, how do you pronounce any N in the last uh, paragraph? Let's try. And try. if it is and if it is a success, we can sell more from our catalog at stores. Catalog? N N I if repeat please. Oh, and if it is a success. And if it is and if it is and if it is and if it is let me make you a, a more difficult one it's very quickly and, and, if, if. <laughs> and can you repeat teacher <laughs> yeah it's the same like when you say is it a is it okay is it a, is it okay is it okay is it okay is it okay Remember that you have a T between two vowels. You have a T between two vowels. So if it is okay, if it is, if it is okay with you. In, uh, if it is, if it is. <laughs> you use that, you use this a lot. If it is okay with you, for example. If it is okay with you, if it is okay with you. It is. If it is. If it is okay with you, I will arrive there at 8, 8 a.m. Is that okay? Does that sound like a plan? Is it okay? Is it okay? If it is okay. Okay, thanks, teacher. If You're welcome. Hey, so now I have I have something for you that I always like to show on this module during this unit, but please don't share the video with the class, okay? You know what, let's stay here for five minutes. 
just watch this video or yeah okay just watch that video don't share it it's a five minutes video you can skip the well no don't skip the comments my recommendation is turn on the closed captions turn on the closed captions let me know if you find any new word but take a look take a look at this story of how federal express transports pies during christmas okay go ahead being the abc sonaria let's see how federal express transports pies on christmas <laughs> go ahead check it out check it out <laughs>
Raise your hand whenever you're ready. Did you get hung hungry? Are you hungry? <laughs> okay, yeah, you're done, Andres. Thank you. Raise your hand if you're ready. Put an emoji. Teacher, I got an issue with my inner ring. I don't know what I what are you doing? Oh. Mm, I got an issue with my my energy heater, and I. Oh. I get into the to the session again, so I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, okay. I send you a message here and through WhatsApp as well. Okay, so if you watch the video, if you found a new word on that video that was interesting for you, you can type it on the chat. Go to the chat and type the word on the chat in Zoom. If you're ready, if you're ready. Thank you. <laughs> procrastinators procrastinators that's when you leave things to the last minute you are a procrastinator you do things on the last moment like today, actually, today is my 13th anniversary, my wedding anniversary. It's my 13th wedding anniversary. It's not, it wasn't Saturday. It was, it's today, the 15th. I got married on 2008, November 15th. The saddest day in my life. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I was happy. I was happy. November or December, teacher? November. November, November 15th, today. 13 years ago let me show you something really funny i don't know if you can see this uh can you see it yeah that's me that's my grandma she just passed away two years ago that was me look at my face my neck i mean i didn't have any skin i was so thin oh my god <laughs> I, I was dying i was a skeleton you know yes. it's really thin good times <laughs> Okay, so procrastinator is uh, when you, how do you say, you postergate. That's the best word to define a procrastinator. You leave your life postergating, you know, postergando things. And you go like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow, tomorrow, next day, not right now. Like, like most of Salvadorians. <laughs> we are all the same thing, right? Yeah, and actually, if you go to YouTube and you type procrastinators, I'll send you the link. It's a, um, it's a TED talk about being a procrastinator. This guy, this conference is what made the, the term procrastinator famous. He made this term famous because he explains in detail what is procrastination. So you can check it later. Okay, any other word? Any other word? Handcrafted. Thank you, Johnny. Handcrafted. What is it? You do something by hands. 
Yeah, you, thank you, beautiful Spanish, perfect, yeah. <laughs> you do things by hand. It's like artisanal, artisanal things that you built. Okay, what else? Anchoring, what is anchoring? Me ocurre que es anclando, pero no sé. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To secure in the in the context of the video is to secure that something will arrive its destination. In this case, they were anchoring that the pie was going to their destination. What was the destination of the shipment? Hawaii. Hawaii, right? Where was it coming from? Uh, six thousand Virginia. Mills. Virginia, right? But did you hear the name of the place? It was really weird. It was a weird name of the town. And what was the pie of apple? Apple cherry, right? Apple cherry pie. Okay. Okay. So in this module, guys, we're gonna talk about that a lot. Um, Let's move on since you know I don't see you too willing to talk. Did you like the video? Yes. Very yeah. interesting. Have yes. you have you ever thought about all the implications of transporting one single box that you sent through FedEx? Oh my god, there's a driver picking it up, taking it to the hub. Nobody's asking what is a hub. Nobody mm -hmm. asked, what is a hub? It's a plate that is common used to, to store many products. Mm -hmm. Not to store, but to connect. Como un centro de... Acum accumulate. In Como Spanish, de... Andres, yeah, centro de? In este caso, de envío sería... Uh, centro de acopio. acopio. Yeah, it's a cent centro de acopio. Now, there are hubs in the United States, right, Jocelyn, for airplanes. Um, there are air, I'm sorry, uh, airports. There are hubs. For example, the JF Kennedy, the JF Kennedy is one of them. It's, one, it's a hub for all the airlines. You know, all the airlines go there, gather together, and then they change the route. It's like they arrive here to go this way or to go that way. They control the traffic, in other words, on that hub. Okay, that's a hub, new word. Okay, guys, so I send you two videos to your WhatsApp. Please study uh, the one that says B Corps, B Corps for People, Planet and Profit. It's very interesting talking about um, our main topic the distribution channels, how everything has changed with technology, how the distribution channels have been updated, you know, and it's changing the world in terms of market. So watch that video. I want to see your conclusions tomorrow about that video. Let me do the attendance one more time and I'm staying with Yuri tonight. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Uh, present teacher. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, good night. Wait. <laughs> Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present teacher. Irene Asena Cuellar Álvarez. Present Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Jose Alberto Salas Albanes. I'm sorry, Salas Benitez. Salas. Present is <laughs> Thank you, Jose. Good night. Bye. Ir Irwin Lagos Andrade. We're missing two minutes. Present is Thank you. Nos faltan dos minutos, señores. Wait. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. 
William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present, teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good. Thank you, Jocelyn is there too. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me tonight. Don't forget tomorrow our class starts at 8 a.m. And we continue with the open questions, okay? Try to have one open question handy so we can use it at the beginning of the conversation, okay? I'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Good night. Okay, good night. Yeah. Good night, good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. 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 Okay, Mr. Vladimir, how are you? I'm a teacher. And you? I'm doing great, too. What have you been up to? Uh, because I, I am working right now. I need to finish something. Really? Yes, and I try to be at the class and the work too. <laughs> but it is okay. I expect to finish. And what are you doing? I, uh an information that i need to press i need to give the last last friday you i need to give <laughs> I, I need it i need it i need it to give uh-huh i need it to give something like last friday you need it to deliver that job on last friday okay mm -hmm. what, but what is it about it's a uh, information about accident uh, accident of companies uh, from the workers at work or companies uh, uh, the comp uh, as a customer accident oh okay. mm -hmm. I but I that's why I, <laughs> I am working at this moment but it's okay, okay. it's is it okay if you stay okay mm -hmm. okay I should have heard that before I'm sorry so how do you feel? Uh, what have you been doing with the girls? Talking? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How's that going? Uh, very good, but I think that I need to improve my English level because sometimes my daughters speak with me and I I ask, what do you say? <laughs> you ask them, okay, how do you say something? Hey, okay. Yes, because it's interesting because uh, um, sometimes I try to follow the conversation that they have. For example, um, when they commonly my daughters ask me about some words that they listen. For example, one day of those, uh, my daughter told me, how do you say? One of these days. Uh-huh. One of these days, my daughter told me, uh-huh. One of these days, my daughter told me about fractura, algo así era. Fracture, a fracture. Pero um, esguince, el esguince. Entonces, me, she told me, what is that word? Esguince. Oh. <laughs> let, me, let me Google it, let me Google it. <laughs> I, I used to Spain, know. Spain, algo así. Spain, al fin, yeah. algo así. Spring. 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 Es Spring. Como resorte. Spring. Mm -hmm. Actually, okay. and that, that works that works for many other applications, actually. A sprain. A sprain. A sprain. Uh, at the first moment I I mm -hmm. thought that was uh they they are talking about uh seasons, <laughs> but no, it's different word. <laughs> yeah, it's sprain actually. A sprain or a twist. 
Just remember mm -hmm. twisted twisted sister. <laughs> Do you remember twisted no. sister? No, no. <laughs> Come on, feel the noise. Yes. Ah, oh, yes, I remember that song. Yeah. Mm. I wanna rock, rock. I want to rock. Just remember that twist, twisted sister. That was amazing. So yeah, I will recommend you to do that. Start listening to music again, you know, uh, from the 80s, the old rock songs, try to get more words out of it. That'll work. Well, you work. Are you working from home? Yes, I am. Who made those windows in your house? Where was the house already built with the windows? And yes. Oh, okay. It's just that my wife and I are planning to change the windows. You know, we have uh, windows made of solaire <laughs> with glass, right? But we want French windows like the ones you have. Oh, we are, yes. We're getting uh, quotes. Uh, you can, I, I know the people that you can do it, for example, where do you live in? So Mexicanos, Ibano? Mexicanos. Mexicano. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really late for you. Really far away. Far away of you. Maybe I don't I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking about uh this place, Mercado Belloso. Mm, yes. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Genesis. But be, be careful with that kind of that kind of store because they can sell you uh, bad products. Do you know I had a good experience at, at Genesis. That's the name of the place. They they do windows, and I I bought one a small one you know for like thirty dollars, or we, but just the window. I mean the installation was made by someone else, but now we have one two three four four five windows that we're going to replace. And some of them are the ones that you open, like, you know, a curtain mm, to open yeah. to the outside, not, not, not sliding the window, but opening it in full. That's the idea. Man, yeah, but good. right now everybody's spending money in the house, right? <laughs> we painted the house recently. It was crazy. A lot of things to do. Almost every year, you every year is necessary to paint the the house again. Yeah, we had more like when you, three more, years. More when you have children's uh, and and dogs. Ah, yes. It is. Hey, it's the second time I hear I heard you saying that in this class. Children, not children's. Children. Children. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. children, More when, children. especially, yeah, when you have child, child, when child, you have children, ch child, mm. children, children, kid, mm. kids, child, children. That's right. You're married, right? Hmm? Are you married? Yes. Yeah, yes, I am. Does your wife speak English? Uh, a little bit. My daughters speak better. Again, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the same story with me, you know, but it's just that I don't have the time. I never had the time to teach my wife, to teach my kids to speak. The dog, the dog speaks. He says, <laughs> yeah, really? He says, I love you. I love you. <laughs> really? <laughs> He's a husky. Oh, good. I like that kind of dogs. Have you seen Max on TikToks? No, Max no. the Hoshki. Max the Hoshki. He's funny. No. You can you should find it on TikTok. Max the Hoshki. He's from our Spain, I think. He's a, he's a Spanish. The, I guess that he's a dog. He speak. Yeah, he's a husky that speaks. You know. Yes. He says I, I many saw. Words. You saw a video? Mm -hmm. Yes, I saw some videos about dogs. That okay. kind of dogs speaking. Now, being honest with me, have you been practicing during this? What was it? Month or two weeks? I don't know. I was trying to listen uh, English podcasts, uh, English English videos, and it was interesting. For example, today in the morning, I was listening a uh, uh, English English YouTuber. Uh, it was interesting because it was almost a, an hour and a half. And I try to understand it 
and but in because it's frequently find that kind of words in that conversation is uh, you are going to accustom to listen and, and to apply it but for example when you listen I, when i watch uh news uh, watch news is really difficult for example when they are speaking about law um, or Law is maybe the most complicated. But you issues. could you could look for things related to your field, like insurance. Um, insurance fails, for example, and you're gonna have a lot of fun. Really? Yeah, there's a lot of. Well, actually, <laughs> but it, they have to be speaking right. It's just, you will find a lot of scams, you know, scams. And I'm sure you deal, you deal with a lot of scammers in your job. In the United States, it's very common to find people scamming, you know, pretending, pretending they, they get rolled over by a car or pretending that they slide on, a, on the store when there's snow at the, at the entrance of the stores, they pretend that they fell, you know, and then they call the insurance to sue the store, mm -hmm. you know, to sue the store. <laughs> para demandar a la tienda. They go like, oh, me caí, oh, me call the insurance, right? And then there's an ambulance and the whole show just to get some money. I mean, that's so common in the United States. It's very common. I used to work for insurance. Well. Is is I remember when I, I saw an accident, uh, 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 old, old, uh, uh, old person in the, um, a restaurant in the United States, suddenly someone pushed the door and hit the face and suddenly appeared many ambulance, uh, fire truck, just for yeah. that a little accident, but uh, was uh, big for that little, but for that for the old man girl mm -hmm. mm. but it's really fast to find many many people around that kind of accident over there over here you the people is going to die yeah <laughs> here nobody does anything Any, That's right. anyone anyone up but you know at walmart they do at walmart if you fall and this is part of their policies international policies if someone falls due to the wet floor, you know, and there's no wet sign or anything, that you got uh, a you got a case, you got a very good case. That is, is really important in the United States. Have indication, uh, a signal about that you, the floor is wet. It's wet, yeah. That's very important yeah. in the states. True, true. Well, thank you. I let you work in. Thank you very much for staying for ten minutes. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Bye. I see you tomorrow. Good night. Too. Good night. Bye.